Donald Trump's low energy and mopiness as he entered criminal court was a stark contrast with his weekend of explosive rage. Facing a bond payment deadline, Trump wrote on social media, election interference. And through hard work, talent, and luck, I currently have almost $500 million in cash, a substantial amount of which I intended to use in my campaign for president. I mean, that is the dumbest thing he could have possibly done to put that on Truth Social, because that is a direct admission by him that he has the money. Now keep in mind, even with this operating money or cash that he supposedly has, if he doesn't pony up and put up a bond, Letitia James is gonna be able to go in and basically put restraining orders on all of his bank accounts, everything that relates to him, and all of that money is gonna be tied up and frozen. So if he's really got that money, he's gotta put it up. I would also just point out the stupidity of Donald Trump saying today that he actually has the money. He, I mean, one way or the other, somebody is lying. In other words, Trump either lied to the court when he claimed he could not pay the half a billion dollar bond, or he lied on True Social when he bragged about having the money and said he wanted to spend it on the campaign. Now, most of you probably assume Trump was lying on social media, and I think you're right. But for Donald Trump to have to admit to a court or anybody that he lied in his social media posting, well, that's kind of embarrassing. And it explains Donald Trump's mopey, dejected tone to start the week. Even Donald Trump's son, Eric, long depicted as the slowest of the Trump children, now seems to understand the credibility problems facing his father and how it impacts the groups that might consider issuing a bond. Every single person when I came to them saying, hey, can I get a half billion dollar bond? Maria, they were laughing. They were laughing. Yeah. Top executives of the largest surety companies. Top executives of the largest surety companies were laughing at Eric Trump. Eric added that what his father is facing is unprecedented. Putting up a half a billion dollar bond, bonds that size don't exist in this country. A $10 million bond is a large bond. A $15 million bond is an enormous bond. A half a billion dollar bond? A bond that's not even commercially available in the United States is this, not, this is it, it, no one's ever seen a bond th this size. Every single person when I came to them saying, hey, can I get a half billion dollar bond? Maria, they were laughing. Well, as some of you can attest, there was much laughter the very next hour on Fox News when the claims of Eric Trump and Maria Bartiromo about the bond being unprecedented got torpedoed by an actual and rare Fox News journalist. We've also heard there's a lot of uh, talk about this is unprecedented amount of money. This has never happened before, but that's actually not true. Let's take a look. This is from Letitia James, the attorney general's own court papers. I'm going to show it to you right now. There have been bigger bonds in the history. Look, from $1 billion to $1.5 billion, that was a Carnegie Mellon uh, patent case. Those are public companies. Uh, what is about the argument that this has never been this big for a private company? Well, there have been billion-dollar bonds secured before. Yes, like father, like son. Father Donald Trump lies on social media or to the courts. Son Eric Trump lies to Maria Bartiromo, who of course doesn't have the brain power or desire to ever call out any Trump whoppers. Nonetheless, Donald Trump has now received some of the relief he was hoping for. Mediaite headline, just in, Trump gets a break from New York Appeals Court, which rules he only has to fork over $175 million within 10 days. All right, this just into the newsroom, a partial victory for former President Donald Trump. A New York appeals court has agreed to hold off on collection of former President Trump's $454 million civil fraud judgment if he puts up $175 million within 10 days. And if he does that, it will stop the clock on collection and prevent the state from seizing his assets while he appeals. This development just came down before New York Attorney General Letitia James was expected to initiate the efforts to collect the judgment on that bond payment, which would have included seizing some of his uh, gems of his real estate asset and fortune. So again, he will have now uh, to pay less than original and have a little bit more time to come up with that money. Can Trump come up with $175 million? Well, there are already reports suggesting even that amount could be problematic for Trump. In any case, people who have known Donald Trump the best, including attorneys who used to work for him, say the personal humiliation and shame remain epic. He's exceptionally angry. He doesn't believe that consequences apply to him. And remember, this is a guy who inherited 
a ton of money and a business from his father. And he grew it. We can't argue that. He grew the business. But basically what he's watching is the entire family legacy coming to a screeching halt. And that implosion is the theme of one of the most popular ads from the anti-Trump organization, The Lincoln Project. The ad uses artificial intelligence to imagine the thoughts from Donald Trump's late father, Fred. Donnie, I always knew you'd blow it. You were always a fool, a joke, low rent. I bailed you out so many times. Your deals were all garbage. You couldn't even make money off a casino, you f up. I'm ashamed you have my name. Everyone knows why the women leave you. You're boring, broke. And I told you not to get fat. You pay porn stars and you're weak down there. Your kids hate you, especially the girl. How did a son of mine turn out so damn dumb? The brand I built is crap because of you. You're trash. You'll be lucky to stay out of jail. I may have lost my mind, but I never lost my business. I've been dead 30 years, and I'm still ashamed of you. Mm, shame. That is a brutal adjective to apply. Still, it will get even worse for Donald Trump if the New York Attorney General starts seizing his assets. And there's no guarantee Trump will be able to meet his obligations even under the newly reduced amount. However, amidst all the uncertainty, there is one thing we can all count on. Donald Trump, with his narcissism and lies, will keep digging his financial grave even deeper. By the way, Donald Trump keeps erupting at Ron DeSantis in the wake of the Florida governor ordering the release of sealed Jeffrey Epstein grand jury documents. We hit this guy so hard, by the time he announced, nobody knew what the hell happened. They said, what happened to him? He's a shell of the man. In Ohio, Donald Trump boasted about crushing former presidential rival Ron DeSantis and compared the Florida governor to terrorists. So I hit him hard. I hit him low. I hit him high, just like we did to ISIS. We hit him hard. I've always a week earlier in Georgia, it. Trump ridiculed DeSantis and his supporters. You know, people that were with the Sanctimonious, they were with other people. Well, I'm not going to use that name anymore. It's not respectful. Let's call him Ron DeSantis. But recently, Governor DeSantis signs legislation to authorize release of Jeffrey Epstein grand jury documents. Uh, that law will become effective on July 1st. Finally, the public is going to be able to get answers. And so now we're going to get more facts. And how is it, Sean, when you have so many people involved, you have one person now, Ghislaine Maxwell, who's in, who's in federal prison. Nobody else uh, has been held accountable since Epstein's death. And, and I think everybody knows that, that that is not right. And there's no way that nobody else was involved in this criminal activity. By many accounts, one of the highest profile public figures connected to Jeffrey Epstein was Donald Trump. They partied together, traveled together, and spent time at each other's vacation mansions. Mm, check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.